In this video, I'll be going over the unpaired t-test. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments section. I typically respond to comments within a day. We can see in the hypothesis that we have the null hypothesis being equals. So the first group sample mean is equal to the second group sample mean. And the alternative is the first group sample mean is different from the second group sample mean. So we know right off the bat, this is gonna be a two-tailed test. The data shows that we're comparing males and females. And just to keep note, the sample sizes are different. Uh, that'll be important later. The data, as you can see, is kind of streamlined. I have all that information there. In most cases, you'll probably have to calculate it maybe for an exam or homework. But if you don't know how to do those uh, calculations, I do have videos that go over them. The first part of this test is to calculate the difference of the means. So we have x bar 1 minus x bar 2, which is 70.3 minus 57.4 to give us 12.9 kilograms. So the second part is we need to calculate the pooled standard deviation since we're looking at two separate groups as opposed to one. This is typically also where people mess up. Uh, so if you have to do this in maybe in different segments to make it easier for you, you know, I advise that you do that. I know when I was teaching the course, uh, that was a huge thing. People just mess up on this calculation. Whatever is easiest for you to calculate it. So as you can see, we have the square root of the first sample size minus one times the standard deviation squared plus the second group's sample size minus one times the standard deviation squared over the total sample size uh, between both groups minus two. And this is what you get in terms of the calculation. We end with 3.65 kilograms as our pooled standard deviation. Now for this next part, I just wanna let you know, we're putting all the things that we calculate in the corner here so that we don't have to keep going back and forth. And so you guys don't need to go back and forth in the video itself. The next part we have to calculate is the standard error. And the standard error is the standard deviation of the pooled sample times the square root of one over the sample size of group one plus one over the sample size of group two. So we end up with 3.65 times the square root of one over 15 plus one over 17, which equals 3.65 times 0 0.354. This yields 1.293 kilograms. Now remember when it comes to the unit of measure, for the standard error and standard deviation, they're always the same as the mean. If the mean is kilograms, the standard deviation and standard error are also gonna be in kilograms. Getting towards the end here, we're calculating the T statistic. So we have T equals the sample mean of the first group minus the sample mean of the second group over the standard error. And this gives us 12.9 over 1.293, which gives us 9.977 for our T statistic. Now, because it's a t-test, we have to also do degrees of freedom. And so the de degrees of freedom calculation is n1 plus n2 minus 2, which we've seen that before under the pooled standard deviation. So it's the first group size plus the second group size minus 2, and that gives us 30. Just like before, we have in the lower left-hand corner the calculated t-statistic and the degrees of freedom. The next part is to check the t table for the 95% critical value. We're looking for two tails of 0 0.05 with a degrees of freedom of 30. And once we find that, we see that the critical value is 2.042. The next step is to compare that critical value to our calculated value. Now, when it comes to positives, such as what we have here, we have a positive 2.042. We're looking for anything greater than it is a statistical significance. If it was negative 2.042, it would be anything less than. So if it was negative 9.977, that would be less than. Since the calculated T is greater than the critical value, we reject the null hypothesis that the sample means are equal. If you have any questions, again, please leave them in the comment sections. I typically get back pretty fast. Thank you for watching and stay nerdy, my friends.